Have you ever looked at a sim rig and wonder, hmm, I want one, but find yourself in the pool, there are many of them out there? I found myself doing the same. After a quick research online, I found myself at Track Racer website. I like what they were offering, along with plethora of options on every model they sell. It is easier to find what suits your need. I bought a TR160 MK4 model invert pedal kit, which is a bit costly. The end result is great. It beat the IKEA table I used before. The advertised image of the product always looks nicer, but there are drawbacks. The boxes are heavy and tend to have a lot to assemble. I will go over the Track Racer TR160 MK4 along with the installation. I hope to get you informed by the end of this video. Most of the boxes I had received were damaged during shipping. Luckily nothing was damaged, but I ended up with one screw missing from an invert pedal option I had picked. There were 10 in total. With it being a quarter inch thick, I found out one missing screw was an issue, considering it is heavy. I had removed the three remaining screws to see the outcome of it and I can assure you it's holding up nicely. After that I ran into another problem, the C slider doesn't seem to click in place to lock. The other slider at the moment is doing most of the work but it had not been an issue so far. A phone call to customer support should take care of it but I haven't done it. Lastly. Look out for metal particles left inside the packages from manufacturing and be careful how you handle it. Clean it gently, do not blow air to clean it, it will be a bad idea. To get the installation done, I didn't use the manual, I used whatever knowledge I have from building and assembling things in my lifetime. I quickly learned I need the manual. I would have unboxed them in the right order. One thing I did find that the installation would have had been a bit easier if there were more measurement to reduce the amount of adjustment required later. I found myself adjusting more time than I can count. A simple reference would have made it a bit easier to get it done in no time. As of this recording, the rig still need to be adjusted. The other hardest installation was the infor pedal. It looks a lot easier on paper, but to handle it and install it was a nightmare. You will need another set of hands to help you with it. I found myself standing the unit vertically down and up again to ease the installation. But once it's done, look at it. It's nice. For the durability, I will need more time to see anything happen to it as most of it is made of aluminium. I have confidence it will stand the test of time. The only thing might be in question is the seat. The cushion at the moment is very comfortable and it has support side bolstering. From my time using it, the left side cushion is starting to show that it's being used at the moment. Only time will tell, but most new car seats don't last as long anyway. One of the main benefits of having a TR160 is the ability to grow on it for years to come. There are many aftermarket support to make racing simulation more enjoyable, but it will always require a rig to be more scalable. The TR160 MK4 will be my main carpet for a long time to come. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. For any more questions, please leave it in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the racetrack. Take care.